What's going on YouTubers? Moperman 1978 out here today on a day off. Be about 50 degrees. Uh, as you can see, a lot of the snow melting. Got uh, a little bit of wind coming up around, but other than that, I'll take this over any anything else, especially freezing temps. Um, but anyway, as you can see, I got my cast factory cast aluminum <laughs> factory cast aluminum one barrel intake that I got off of a van, 60s van, Dodge van. But uh, I'm out here, took the old starter off, got the intake and the old exhaust manifold off. I'm gonna have to dissect the, uh, and get the, uh, in, the old uh, cast iron intake away from the uh, exhaust manifold. And uh, I got two of the, I got this one and I got one out back. One is already off this and what I'll probably just end up doing is cleaning that one up since it's a 70s model. I don't, I can't remember if this one's a 70s model or not. I'd have to look. I think this is the original one that come on the, the vehicle. Anyway, um, get it sandblasted and then uh, I think what I'm going to end up doing this next coming check, I'm going to buy another one of them 10 by 10 uh, fold up canopies and I'm going to anchor it right out over here next to the Valiant and then what I'm going to do is make sure the wind won't blow it away or nothing have some real deep uh, uh, spikes uh, stakes real deep uh, have to pound them in with maybe like a sledgehammer or something but um, and then what I want to do is buy a, a thick roll of uh, thick mill of plastic uh, semi clear plastic and uh, go all the way around the uh, canopy and uh, and then have it go all the way to the ground and anchor the plastic to the ground and that way I can get in there and work and bring a run an extension cord and put a heater in there and because uh, what I want to do is start getting some of this stuff done on the halfway decent temps even though the halfway decent temperatures are still not temps that are should be up to like painting stuff outside that need warmer temps to, in order for the paint to cure that sort of thing um, get in here I eventually like I'll probably just have to wait um, to warmer weather because I want to pull the engine out and do a light refresh on it with the gaskets I got to take the oil pan off and I don't know if I remember if you guys saw in the past previous videos um, when I got down underneath the car this is several videos back but I don't know what these idiots were doing they don't this car previously they put coilover shocks in the back which is fine but uh, regular old shocks up front and then evidently they, they had some half-assed tow package put on the back of it um, they had it bolted right in through the sheet metal on the bottom here and uh, bolted up here or something to the bumper I can't remember how it was done but it was done like I said half-assed and it had a tow hitch that was adjustable and the only thing I think is it pretty much uh, rode like this it was bobbing and especially the back end not set up for that, that kind of tow weight uh, luckily it didn't uh, break any of the uh, leaf springs or nothing or cracks in them or nothing like that but what it did do is right in the middle underneath the bell housing where it expands out in front of the torque converter there's a chunk missing about oh, about an inch and a half two inches long by an inch and a half wide uh, and then there the oil pan has several uh, rounded out dimples pushed up in, into the bottom of the pan and what's not it wasn't completely crushed or nothing like that it's just got some big dimples in the bottom um, and then uh, on one side 
of the K-frame. I don't know if you can see it from this angle or not. No. There's a section on the K-frame where I guess when it bottomed out, when it, when it came down, where the piece of uh, sheet metal sticks out off of the K-frame, it actually nicked it, it pushed up the piece of uh, metal, so there's a, a real sharp triangular piece sticking up off the deal like this. And so I'm going to have to heat that up, tap it back down, and weld that back up. A um, bunch of idiots. I've already been finding odds and ends of little things of uh, jerry rigging on this deal. Uh, um, just like with the, uh, I was telling you about the alternator. The alternator was pushed clear up against the block. That it couldn't be adjusted, and they had the wrong belt on it. Um, just odds and ends stuff like that. But anyway, back to my deal. I want to get the block out, the engine out, repair the pan, maybe put not so much of a detailed um, windage tray in there. Maybe more like a little section up on the back, a little section on the front, not a whole big deluxe one like I did on the Dart. Um, get that done, get the pan painted. Get the gaskets from on there. I'll uh, prob probably end up just replacing the oil pump while I got it out. Just you might as well when you got something out like that. And replace the re the freeze plugs. You can never can trust the freeze plugs, especially on the back side. They could be completely corroded and get ready to um, eat through the back side. But anyway, um, want to do that? Just some a few little odds and ends. And then once I get all that done, and then the head, I want to put a new head gasket on here just to be safe. And then I want to check the valves, maybe check to see if they need to be lapped, which they probably need to be cleaned up and probably lapped anyway, checked, and I'll do all that crap. Um, but uh, my, my main deal is to drop this old transmission out. It's the Trunion style with the flange on the back of it out. I've got a early to mid 70s a body 904 transmission to put in here and then eventually what I'll do is once we're driving the car and getting it all back together driving the car um, what I'll do is I'll save some money up and go to the local pick and pull we have it's called Buddy's Auto Savage up north from here 45 miles um, I, I think they got some Dodge Dakotas and stuff like that from the 90s I think it was like if I remember correctly Slant Daily Garage Shane and some others said like 93 to 95 or something like that uh, overdrive type transmission or something with a lockup torque converter works great in these uh, check his videos out he'll like I said he'll be able to tell you in the video or on the live um, the AHRA lives they'll be able to tell you anything like that um, that way it'll help this car even better for especially even for daily driving long distances and anything Maybe a little bit better if I wanted to take it just for shits and grins at the drag strip one day just to see what a stock, mostly stock car would do with that different uh, transmission and torque converter in there. But anyway, so anyway, there's that. But my main focus is the D150. It's going to have to go from here. I'm going to have to drive it down the road, drive it up into the yard, up on this flat area here between the Valiant and the hearse and put a big uh, reinforced uh, tarp on there drive the car the truck up on uh, ramps that sort of thing and I'm gonna have to drop the transmission again and figure out what's causing that weird metallic rubbing sound um, especially after I put the stock replacement torque converter in there and a b and flex plate so I gotta look for, I gotta take the transmission out, look for spots that's rubbing or anything like that after it's fully, it only does it after it's fully warmed up. So yeah, uh, cause I gotta get my Dodge pickup running. So my daily driver, cause you know, I'm using that for right now. That's putting a lot of stress on that. And this is considered a backup vehicle. That's a two wheel drive Jeep. And then we're also using uh, the pickup truck and we want to try to lower as many miles on this because my truck is mostly new as far as the drive line, motor, tranny, all that stuff. But anyway, um, like, and like I said, I want to put this uh, 
might as well when I have it off might as well put this aluminum intake on and put it to good use and uh, just give this car a little bit of a stock upgrade so anyway hope you enjoyed this video and um, be patient like I said no shop no garage I work out here in the elements I'm low budget work paycheck to paycheck so bear with me and uh, until next time